Hi, I'm Andrea Hughes, and I'm going to tell you about the origins of Entelechy. Now, I've been associated from the beginning with Entelechy, and would like to give you a bit of background. I was working as a clinical psychologist in a very large subnormality hospital, learning disability asylum, called Darrant Park. When the opportunity came up to go and work on a community team in Lewisham, and the team in Lewisham was resettling people from Darrant Park back into the community. It wasn't long after I started doing this where we were setting up group homes in Lewisham and bringing people back who might not have lived in Lewisham for 20, 30, 40 years. They were coming back because that was how they decanted people, as they called it, from the big asylums. The only basis on which the 15 boroughs or counties that were involved would take people back was on their admission address. Quite often people had no other link to the place they were coming back to. They'd lost touch with family, friends. Sometimes the places they'd lived in before had been bombed and this was a whole new idea of life for people with learning disabilities. For instance, one of the women I knew quite well who came from Darrant Park into the first house that we set up as a team had actually been born in Darrant Park. Her mother had learning disabilities and although men and women were officially separated, a lot went on in the grounds. But this is the setting for working now on a community team, trying to integrate people into the neighbourhoods they may have come from on a very tenuous link decades before, when by chance two things happened. One of my team went on maternity leave and I had a bit of money I could use for the next year. And I met David Slater, who was a neighbour of mine, who was telling me about his work in community arts in Rotherhithe, where he was working with older people. And it seemed to me that the two things coming together at that time meant that we could experiment with, instead of the health service, which I was part of, this monolithic institution, trying to bring community to the people who were moving out of hospital, we could have somebody who was working in the community integrating the people who'd come from the asylum. And so the money would only pay for something like half a day a week for David to start. And it came, he was paid directly by the health service to start with. During the time that he was working, he became very enthusiastic about how his arts connections and networks and the way he'd worked before in community arts could be helpful and useful and valuable for the people coming out of asylum. And so he started fundraising on that basis to augment the money that was coming from the health service. And we initially set up something called the South Lewisham Drama Society with some with a voluntary board of people we happened to know and some money that David started bringing in. So we had to have a bank account and then a constitution and signatories and trustees and became a charity and all the kinds of formal arrangements that have to happen to fundraise. 